we've talked about quite a few different weapons of Call of Duty World War II, showcased them a little bit here with this, and ultimately given you guys some statistical breakdowns and my feedback here on the weapon. I've yet to really talk to you guys about what my favorite weapon from Call of Duty World War II was whenever I played it out at E3 in the middle of June. It was hard in some cases to pinpoint what weapons are better than others, but one weapon that I head and shoulders loved above all else was the BAR, the BAR, whatever you want to call it. Whereas previously the Brownie Automatic Rifle from the past hasn't necessarily been the greatest asset on the battlefield, it's something that while statistically it might lack in some cases to other weapons in the same classification, to me, what we played out of E3, this was the most versatile, the most useful, and of course, the most fun weapon to play around with. So, in this one, we're gonna be taking a look at it and breaking it down once again statistically for you guys, and then giving you guys my ultimate feedback on how this weapon plays, what it feels like, and will you love it, and maybe is it a little bit overpowered? I guess as this video goes along, we'll see what we come to the conclusion of, but nonetheless, let's jump into our breakdown of the bar. As with all the other breakdowns here at this one, the live testing does warrant some margin of error simply because we didn't have all that much time to get ideal situations set up to end up going in and breaking down everything statistically in, say, the firing range, but once again, I think I did a decent job of pinpointing it to being relatively close close to accurate. So that said, the rate of fire starting us off here at this one is roughly 666 RPM, which is on the slower side for some weapons if you compare it to that, but also it's a pretty standard fire rate for an assault rifle. It's controllable, it's manageable, and as such, with the fire rate being a little bit lower, and also being that the bar was just already easy to control, the recoil was something that was almost non-existent with this. Now, the damage itself was something that I found to, to be around 35 HP. Once again, three shots with or without the multipliers, depending on where you end up hitting your shots, but definitely something that it kills in a decent amount of time and definitely feels like it kills fast, which, of course, if you're going for awesome gameplays or something like that, you definitely want to have. The movement speed felt normal, a 0.95 or a 95% of the max movement speed possible, and a reload speed of two seconds roughly and about a 1.5 second top off reload time. So that is where it statistically stands, but as for the actual feel of the weapon, I could go on and on about this one. Now I'll try and keep it brief so I don't end up just ranting and raving about the weapon, but like I said earlier, it is something that I just feel is so versatile. It's one of those weapons that is almost the go-between between an SMG and an assault rifle, and I guess maybe even in some cases, this is kind of putting it out there, a sniper rifle just because you can take things out at ease at a long distance. And that really, once again, comes down partially to the rate of fire being very controllable and the recoil being almost non-existent. But once again, coming back to the more closer edge of perspective here with this, it's very good in close quarters encounters. This is stack up immediately to an SMG. Sometimes I guess you'll see and should see the SMG come out ahead, but for the most part, I felt like I was melting people up close and personal with it as well. But as an assault rifle should, it really does flourish at mid range. And that's something that once again, you'll be able to take down enemies left, right, and center. Now, I don't know what other weapons will be added into the beta, if any are added at all, but from what we played at E3 here, it was something that I felt this was probably one of the best, if not the best, weapon of choice for World War II. Of course, there were different classifications. The shotguns were quite powerful in some of their aspects. The snipers were great, but the all-around best weapon to me was the bar by far. And that's one that I absolutely loved playing with. I did my best to try and get footage of every single weapon, but I did end up coming back on multiple occasions to the bar just because I could not resist. It was so fun to play around with, and it was something that definitely is a great option no matter what circumstance you're in within Call of Duty World War II. So once again, it really does come down to what weapons they'll add in the beta, if any at all, but if they don't, say theoretically, it's the exact same port of the game that we have with the E3 build, which I can almost guarantee you won't happen. If it was though to be that case, the bar is head and shoulders my favorite weapon and weapon of choice that I would definitely suggest you guys end up using. I think that it will be a formidable weapon moving forward and one that is turned into a fan favorite within World War II. So that said, that's we're going to wrap it up, but I'd love to hear your thoughts down there in the comment section down below of the gameplay that you're seeing in the background. What do you guys think of it? How do you think it'll play? Do you like the look of it? Do you think it looks awesome? Do you think it looks OP? Or do you think it sucks? Whatever it may be, feel free to let me know down there in the comment section down below. But hopefully you guys have enjoyed. If you guys did, make sure you drop a like down below. And of course, if you guys are new to the channel, make sure you guys subscribe to stay up to date with everything we have here regarding Call of Duty World War II, both multiplayer and the beta. We're going to have you stacked up with all kinds of stuff coming up in the next couple of weeks, leading into the beta, both tips and 
and tricks, best class setups, best weapon guides, all that kind of stuff, we get you covered here up on the channel. And also, if you guys are interested in Black Ops 3, Modern Warfare Mastered, Infinite Warfare, all that good stuff, we got you covered as well on the channel here too. But finally, if you guys want to follow me over on Twitter, that is the best place to get connected me outside of YouTube. I practically live on Twitter, so if you guys want to check up a conversation, ask me a question, whatever it may be, link is down there in the description below. But all that said, now that we hope you guys had a fantastic day. Thanks so much for watching. Modern Espresso. I'll see you guys later. Take care and peace.